bouts on this opening night of competition from Mongolia. Busy night for the host nation. Coming in is Kazakhstan here, Yurkabayeva. Explosive shot, and she will get the early points. Yurke Baeva, two-time bronze medalist, winning bronze in 16 and 17. Man, she drapes right back in on that leg. Heavy hips being applied by Gambat defensively for Mongolia in the red, trying to drape over the top of the body, successfully defends it. Yurke Baeva was the U23 World Championship bronze medalist four years ago. Has had success now at the age of 27 the last several years. Different ranking series events. Hasn't had the success at the world that she feels she has deserved, but that is a goal for her heading into Belgrade later this year. Trying to pick up her third bronze medal at the Continental Championship. And the next step for her in Kazakhstan is trying to carry that over to world success. More than a minute into this first period, the early takedown by Yurkabayeva and a 2 0 lead. The referee's going to get involved here and warn the wrestler from Kazakhstan about those shots to the head. Going to protect the eyes. See the strength that Yurkabayeva has with that snap down. She just overpowers so many of her opponents, has a tall frame at 76 kilos, uses her length as a weapon. But she's not tall and skinny. She's very strong. And, and again, with those snap downs, she loves the collar ties. You'll see her work that quite a bit. But she can change levels on you. We saw in her first takedown, that was a below knee shot. So even though she's a little bit taller, definitely not shy to go down and attack the lower half. And she's done that quite well throughout her time. Bot gets into an underhook. As the under over here, good counter by Yurkabayeva. She pounces down on the leg, working near the edge. Out of bounds they go, but they were grounded. So no step out point, and the period expires. I don't think the wrestlers, I guess there's one tenth of a second. Now it's done. So first period in the books, and Yurkabayeva with a two to nothing lead. Bronze medal match here at 76 kilos. Gold at this weight will feature Kyrgyzstan and Japan. Yuka Kajami for the Japanese. Aperi Medekizi for Kyrgyzstan. As we take another look at the offense. Beautiful. Beautiful blast double from the Kazakhstan wrestler. And then this was near the edge. See the grounded there, so no step out point. Let's see what Gambat can do, the adjustments that she has made. Period number two. Gambat took fourth. At the 2020 Asian, she was eighth in 2019, took seventh at the Junior Worlds in 2018. Kind of always been around the podium, just hasn't quite got there yet. Fourth, a fifth, a seventh, another fifth. Those are all at U23 Junior Level Championships. Now here at the Senior Level, looking for her first Continental. Good job, well, maybe not. A, a little bit premature there as it looked like Gonbad had successfully circled back in, but her 
heels straddle the protection area out of bounds. So a step out point. Two twenty to go. Second period. Trying to hook up a little arm throw action. Never really sealed it tight enough to pull it off. And Yerkebaev will come right around. Challenge has been issued by Mongolia. They think they should have got some points. Meanwhile, Yerkebaev doesn't care about that. She's trying to add more. They end up giving Gambat two on that arm throw. Countered with the reversal by Yerkebaev. And here comes the Mongolian challenge. They're going to ask for four instead of two. So our independent review committee will go to work at the table below us and take a look. So right now the ruling on the mat is a two for Mongolia and then the one on the reversal from Yerkebaeva. Let's take another look. Watching the, the replay up on the Jumbotron, you're looking for the breaking of the plane by the shoulders of Yurka by Ava, and I'm not quite sure she got there. I think this call is going to stand, but we'll let the professionals handle it. I don't think she broke the necessary plane to get the four points on the feet to back. So as we thought, two and one, not the four that Mongolia was looking for. They will give up the point because of the lost challenge and now a 5-2 lead inside two minutes to go. I like the attempt though by Ganba trying to mix it up. Sneaking in that little arm spin. Crowd trying to make some noise. Working off the front headlock. Starting to lose her grip a little bit. Wisely recircles back in. Takes Yurkabayova over to her back. And two points will be awarded. And just like that, she's right back in it. Man, how about that nifty footwork from Gan Ba? She was able to turn her opponent when it looked like she was in danger of giving up another step out point. She recircled and now new life. For Gan Ba, down a point, and a nation cheers for her in her corner. Down one, you'll start to see this pressure now kind of swivel on the shoulders of Yurkabaeva. You see her backpedaling a little bit, Gan Ba controlling the mat more. Yurkabaeva with a couple of pokes to the eyes. That's the second time that she's been warned. She's also being warned for circling. Doesn't look too interested in what the referee has to say. Wisely done. She comes in on a shot off the whistle. Big sequence right here. 40 seconds to go. Gan Bot squeezing tightly with those hips. Yurkabaeva keeps coming in and she'll get the takedown. That is a veteran move from a 27-year-old. You just got warned for circling, so what do you do? This crowd starting to make noise. You say, I'm going to shoot off the whistle, and that's exactly what she did. Really good job by the veteran wrestler from Kazakhstan. Taking her time, getting back into the center. Can Gan Bot pull off some late heroics? Here comes Yurkabaeva right back in on the leg. Really not looking to score here, just eat some time. Both wrestlers continue to carousel in the center. Gan Bot does not have control yet. A two pointer won't be enough. And the bronze will go to Kazakhstan. No points awarded. 
it would not have been enough anyways in Kazakhstan. And Gurlaral Yurkabay Ava wins seven to four here at 76 kilos. It is her third Asian bronze medal. 2016, 2017, and now five years later, another bronze medal. And a disappointed crowd here in Ulaanbaatar. Lass uns so weit